it's on. The 4G network's here, and it's faster. Much faster. Super fast. Fasterest? Australians have the fastest 4G network in the world. But with 4G, you also hit your data cap. Faster. Much faster. Super fast. On what Optus call a typical 4G speed of 40 megabits per second, you could use up all your Optus 200 megabyte plan in just... 40 seconds? Even on Telstra's extra-large 4G package, you might only live life in the fast lane for up to eight minutes of downloading a month. So what about those ads you see, like... Watching high-def movies and YouTube clips without buffering. And... Perfect for watching HD movies on the go. ...that boast about streaming HD movies. Streaming in HD is fine, isn't it? According to Telstra, high-definition movies are four to five gigabytes. So even on Telstra's biggest plans... I am the fuck. ...you might only get this far before you start paying extra. But don't blame 4G. Let's go back to the good old days. The year is 2010, and Kevin Rudd's career as Prime Minister is over. Sarah Murdoch is a respected television host. Australia's next top model for 2010 is... And the Optus $59 plan includes two gigabytes of data. Oh, my God. I don't know what to say right now. But then... Four years on and 60 bucks with Optus, 4G or not, gets you half the data. I'm so sorry. This is insane, 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 insane. And Optus isn't alone. Virgin's plans have less data than they used to. Telstra has reduced data in four out of five of its plans. Vodafone's been more generous, but even their $50 plan has less data too. Even Audi Mobile's half their data allowance. We have ways of making you not talk. So at a time when we're using more mobile data than ever, in fact, as Telstra says... Mobile data has doubled every 12 months. Telstra and the other telcos are quietly reducing our data allowance, all while encouraging us to download even more. So what happens if you do download more? If you go over your data cap at Telstra, you could be looking at up to... $37 a minute! But good news for new customers, from this month, you'll only pay up to eleven twenty-five a minute. It's a trap! It'd be cheaper to get Mark Hamill to perform the movie live. No, we can't get him. He's, he's unavailable. Then Carrie Fisher. She's booked at a convention. We can't get her. Um, any of the stormtroopers? Sorry, mate. Totally booked up. Just chockers till Christmas. Ah, uh, the voice of Jar Jar Binks? No, he, he only does corporates now. A Jar Jar Binks impersonator. No, Lou. I am your father. Such your feelings. You know it to be true, yeah? No, Lou. I am your Optus have a different approach than Telstra on excess data. They charge, in more reasonably priced, one gigabyte blocks. Although, they're still just selling you back the data they took away in 2012. And if that isn't confusing enough, not all data is charged equally. At Optus, data on this is up to 80% more expensive than data on this, even though they both use the same SIM cards, the same networks, and transmit data at the same speeds through that same tower right there. No, no, up, up. So no matter what network or device you're using, some things are very simple. Find out what your data cap is now and how much you pay if you go over. And if you do get stung, don't be afraid to challenge it with your telco. And finally, if you don't care about 4G, there are 3G only providers that can offer you twice as much data for the same price. Because going faster isn't always a good thing.